Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to protect the Excel sheet, right? So first of all, we'll see the uh, different terminologies and then we'll see how to protect them. So just uh, had a Excel sheet with the marks. So I will open it and I will explain you how to protect that. So you can observe here, so I had some data, okay. Now you just observe this complete is called a workbook and this is a sheet, okay. So we can protect the sheet as well as the workbook, okay. We can protect the sheet as well as the workbook. So here you can observe the options review. In the menu bar, you can op uh, view the review, go to the review. And there you will be finding the protect sheet and protect workbook. Protect sheet and protect workbook. So if you click on this protect sheet, you can observe here. So select a locked cells and select unlocked cells and a password to protect the sheet. You just give some password and just remember that password because without that password, you can't edit the values in that particular sheet. See, I have given some password here and clicking OK. So it prompts for uh, re-enter the password and again, I'm re-entering the password. Now you can observe, so my sheet has been protected, right? So if I am able to edit, if I want to edit the content of this particular sheet, see, so the cell or a chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make changes, click unprotect sheet in the review tab. So. The, we can edit the content only if you know the password. That means if you unprotect the sheet. So he, in the same menu, you will be finding the unprotect sheet. You click on unprotect sheet. It will prompt for the password. If you know the password, then only you can unprotect the sheet. So I can use the password and now I can edit the sheet. Right. So this is how we can protect the sheet. Only sheet will be protected. And coming to the second option, that is a protect workbook. That means this workbook structure. So you can't, you can only make the edit, edit on this particular worksheet and you can't add more number of worksheets if you protect the workbook structure. So just go with this one, go to the review in the menu bar and here you observe the protect workbook, click on the work, protect workbook. You can observe here protect workbook for structure. So just give the password and click OK, it prompts for re-entering, so OK. Now you can observe here, you can't add in more number of sheets. So you can edit the content of this particular sheet, but you can't edit or I mean you can't add or you can't delete the existing sheets. So you can't add the another sheet, right? So this is how we can protect the workbook structure. So this is the workbook structure and next if you want to unprotect it see in the same menu you can find the uh, protect workbook you just click on the protect workbook and it will prompt for the password you can go with the a, uh, password and uh, click on ok automatically the workbook structure has been unprotected so that you can add the sheets you can, now see you can observe here if you click on plus you can add a more number of sheets but previously it was not happened because we have protected the workbook structure. So that's why I have said the difference between the workbook and the sheets in the beginning of this session, right? So this is the sheet and the complete file is a workbook, right? Now, how to protect the complete file? So then just go to the file menu and you can observe here the protect workbook, right? Click on the arrow mark. So encrypt with a password, you can find the option encrypt with a password, click on the encrypt with the password, it will prompt for the password, just set the password, it will prompt for the re-enter. So I have given two times, so now our my complete file has been protected. See, I am closing the file, yes I want to make the changes and you can observe once again I am opening the file. So while opening the file, 
it will prompt for the password so unless you give the password the content of the file will not be open so that is the encrypting with the password right so i am just giving the password click on ok so automatically i can find the data so if you forget the password it is not possible to open the workbook right see require a password to open this workbook and if you want to remove the password just click on this here click on this one go to the same thing encrypt with the password you just remove the password which you have given and click on ok automatically it will be unprotected the, the complete file will be unprotected right so hope you understood this one and next one the first option the same thing in the file menu you will find the protect workbook here you can find the first option mark as a final so this shows the reader that uh, i mean this shows the user that the reader has given a final copy so that means if you observe here just click on here yes uh, this workbook will be marked as a final then saved okay so you can observe here if you open this one you will get the just uh, a message that marked as a final and author has marked this workbook as a final to discourage editing so it will give a small warning so still if you want to edit the thing just click on the here so that you can edit the content so this will help only to uh, make the author or make the user to know that this is a final copy right so hope you understood this one so mark as a final encrypted encrypt with password means uh, protecting the complete file with the password and next uh, protect the current sheet that means only sheet it will it will protect the sheet itself and protect current sheet uh, sorry protect workbook structure means you can't able to add more number of sheets here you can't able to add more number of sheets so present workbook will be protected right for everything you can find here in the file go to the protect workbook and here you can find here the options or else you just go to the review in the menu bar just go to the review in the menu bar and there you can find protect sheet protect workbook and if you want to save with the password just go to here and encrypt with the password right so this is how we can use the protection option in our excel right so let's stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session uh, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much